Hi guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Um, I am super excited to be filming this video today. I know that I say that in every video, um, but today I'm really looking forward to it because it is a brand dedicated video. Um, and I feel a little awkward right now because I didn't actually film for quite a while. So um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I went away just for four days, but I haven't filmed for around like two weeks. So right now I feel a little like out of touch, you could say. <laughs> this video is in collaboration with Gritty, which I have spoken about one of their fragrances kind of recently. And if you watch that video, you know that I am obsessed with that specific fragrance. So today I'm gonna be covering a few more from the brand that I really fell in love with and wanted to share with you guys myself. So yes, I met the brand in Cannes last year. I was lucky enough to actually meet the founder, Luca Gritti, and his whole entire team, which were super lovely to me. And it was a very nice moment to meet everyone, to get introduced to the brand properly. So yeah, before I went to Cannes, I made sure that I booked a meeting with this, with this brand because I really wanted to discover more and actually uh, be able to smell the fragrances in real life and hear what is this brand? Where does it come from in person? So that was really important to me. And just a quick little backstory and roundup of the brand. It's a brand uh, that's originating from Venice. So it's a Venetian brand. The founder, obviously, like I said, is Luca Gritti and it's a family owned brand and it's goes back until like the 15th century, I think. So it's a very, very, very old, you could say, old brand, old history, old roots. And I love that. Whenever I hear a story like this, it really makes me very happy. So I'm really looking forward to this video. I'm not gonna ramble too much more. So let's get into smelling the fragrances. I do wanna say like always guys, whenever I do a video in collaboration with a brand, it's always 100% honest because for me, uh, Gritty was kind enough. They gifted me quite a few of their fragrances. I don't know the exact number, maybe about 10 or so. And I didn't include all of them in this video because for me, I only wanna talk about my top, top favorites from the line and the ones that I'm actually wearing myself. There is a few that I really like and appreciate the fragrance for what it is, but I don't wanna put it in this video because it's not really a very big favorite of mine. I'm only including the best of the best, as you know, for me, that's very big. And yeah, that's, I just wanna make that disclaimer so that you guys understand where I'm coming from. And whenever I do a collaboration with a brand, it's always 100% authentic. I'm never uh, speaking, not from the heart. So just to let you guys know that if you're new here, that's me. I think we're going to go with the lightest first, like a very fresh fragrance. Let's ease into this video. And also you're gonna have to uh, excuse me for pronunciations, for errors, because that's not really my strong suit. So the first fragrance that we have here is called Costeria. Costera, Costeria, I don't know. Good vibes. This reminds me of my past, my youth. I'm not really sure why, but when I was wearing Dolce & Gabbana light blue, this fragrance, gives me that same feeling of when I was wearing light blue, a very carefree time, happy, enjoying life, very carefree and effortless. And I just absolutely adore this scent. They did actually gift me kindly two others from this line, but this fragrance was by far my favorite of all of the citruses. Fresh, bright citrus fragrance with a little bit of a green touch to it, a slight aromatic feeling like a little bit herbaceous and aromatic, but not too much. It overall feels like this very fresh and bright and carefree citrus aromatic scent. It does have a slight sweetness underneath. Maybe there is some amber in there, but I feel like it's what's bringing me towards this fragrance is that little subtle sweetness underneath that I just really, really enjoy. As you guys know, I love a bright citrusy fragrance, but I also like when there is a hint of like amber or vanilla underneath the scent. And that's exactly what this fragrance gives me. A beautiful citrus fragrance, so easy, so likable. I would say if you like fragrances like Light Blue from Dolce & Gabbana, you would definitely love this one because it just smells fantastic. When I wanna wear something refreshing because it's actually getting very, very hot in Dubai, all of a sudden it's gone from being like, 27 degrees to like 35 in less than two days. 
So I'm gonna need this fragrance very soon. Next up is Chantilly. Now, when I smelled this fragrance for the first time, I immediately loved it. This is a beautiful, very, very, very ultra feminine fragrance in my opinion. And as you can see, the bottle, it changes. So I love with Gritty is that they have the same bottle design, but in different colors, in different like glass. This one is opaque, the other one is see-through. I really like that about the brand. Some are in velvets as well. But anyways, getting back to Chantilly, this is a beautiful, soft, powdery, musky, fruity scent, quite sweet and creamy. It has this beautiful, soft, powdery creaminess but not too powdery to the point where it annoys you, like it's kind of bothering to your senses. It has a beautiful strawberry note. There is some coconut in here to give it that kind of rounded creaminess. There is a little bit of florals in there. And it is just absolutely divine. I feel like all of you girls that watch me and really like a very feminine fragrance that's quite pretty and, and attractive, you're going to absolutely love Chantilly very very addictive very very feminine and very long lasting i've worn this fragrance several times now and it lasts a long time on my skin very long like maybe eight to ten hours with good projection nothing enormous but very very good projection chantilly definitely reminds me of like this strawberries and cream sort of fragrance so definitely try it if that's up your alley so next up we have tutu blanc which you can see is in the same line i wanted to show it just to be coherent over here um and this fragrance i again i absolutely love it i think it's also very very feminine i want to wear this fragrance on a hot summer night that's exactly where i feel like I would want to wear this fragrance. And I have been wearing it for testing, but I haven't actually worn it out yet, but I don't go out that much. And if I did, I would want to wear this on a hot summer evening. Tutu Blanc has something very exotic and very tropical about the fragrance. There is some coconut in here. There is some florals, some jasmine, some heliotrope, some vanilla, some musk, a lot of musk. But for me, overall, I get this soft, musky, slightly jasmine floral fragrance with this overall tropical feeling. I guess it's coming from the coconut. The heliotrope is bringing that kind of round creaminess along with the coconut, but you really feel the... For me, I really get the jasmine, but underneath, it's very much underneath and kind of supporting the fragrance, and it just smells absolutely beautiful i love this fragrance i absolutely adore it again i've worn this one several times and it just smells right up my alley you guys know me if you know me this is exactly what i like this kind of creamy musky tropical scent with a little bit of coconut a bit of jasmine i'm having a love affair with jasmine at the moment and in here it's much more subdued it's much more under the fragrance it's not so much at the forefront but you do get this overall like creamy tropical floral and it is just absolutely fantastic next up we have anima now the as you guys know Again, if you watch me, I am a very big fan of like more oriental, more rich, more dark fragrances. So I obviously have three from their more darker, mysterious line right here. I have Rialto, Duquesa and Anima. So we're going to go ahead and talk about all three because like I said, this is my vibe. These more darker fragrances, very sexy, very mysterious. That's all about me as much as i love to smell very feminine and tropical and sexy i'm also a big fan of the dark fragrances so let's get into it now so i'm going to start out with anima and this fragrance is just absolutely beautiful i've never heard anybody talk about it and i don't understand why anima reminds me quite a lot of being in the middle east and living in the middle east because i feel as though i have smelled this type of fragrance a lot living in Dubai and I'm not talking about a fragrance specifically that smells like this I'm talking about the air when you walk into a mall or you walk into a store you have this overwhelming and it's one reason that I really love living in Dubai is that everything has its own smell and this fragrance really for some reason reminds me of living in Dubai it has this really 
woody feeling to it. It's a very dry, woody feeling. There is some ambergris in here. There is some cedar wood. There is some patchouli. I get this really dry, woody, slightly smoky fragrance. Really, this fragrance, Anima, it reminds me of living in Dubai. And that's why I think I fell in love with it when I tried it, because it just has this reminiscent feeling of the Middle East. You have that dry, woody smokiness. There is some ambergris, a slight ambery touch but not being sweet the amber in here is not sweet at all it's a little more mysterious dry slightly animalic very woody a little smoky there is that patchouli in there a slight sweetness underneath from some vanilla but overall it is just fantastic i really recommend this for men and women i think it's absolutely a 100 percent unisex scent and I would say for the women that want to be more daring, more sexy, more mysterious, Anima is the one to go to. I really think this fragrance is underrated. Again, I never heard anyone. I didn't see many reviews of it. And I think it is a fantastic fragrance if you do like your more oriental fragrances. Let's go to another favorite. It is, ooh, it is Rialto. Now, this fragrance, I know so many people are going to love. I just have a feeling and instinct so many people are going to love Rialto. Oh boy, guys. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> really, this is a wow show-stopping fragrance. And when I got my fragrances from Gritty, when I was trying all of the samples, I put three aside, or maybe it was two aside as my top, 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 one is gonna be the next one that we're talking about, and the other one is Rialto. This is mysterious, sexy, powerful, dark, strong, strong, strong. I wore this so many nights in Dubai since I've had the fragrances for several weeks. It lasts forever. You have to scrub this fragrance off because it's gonna last a long time on your skin. Rialto is a very sexy take on Oud, but not in a way that it's very animalic, it's very obvious in the fragrance. It's more of this dark, smoky, incense-y. There is a little bit of rose. There is this kind of slight sweetness to the fragrance. There is some saffron in here. The saffron is just beautiful. It's a perfect touch to the fragrance. A dark, smoky, woody scent with a slight sweetness. Very, very, very captivating. This is dark, this is sexy, this is mysterious. It still has, it's not too thick or overbearing or heavy, which is what I love about it. It lasts a long time, but if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. It doesn't have that really thick, heavy, weighted feel to the scent. It still is like bouncy. It still has an air to it. But overall, it's a very smoky, woody, dry, warm, spicy, and sweet scent, and I just absolutely love it. If you like Oud for Greatness from Inicio, you're gonna love Rialto. It's absolutely phenomenal, 10 out of 10. Finally, drum roll. I know you guys were all waiting for this one. It is Duquesa. Duquesa, my love, my baby, my child. I absolutely <laughs> adore this fragrance so much. And in my opinion, this is not because this video is in collaboration with the brand. It's my own opinion. This is one of the best cherry fragrances that I have ever tried. Period. Lost Cherry, see you. All of the other cherry fragrances that I've tried, this is it. Right here, Duquesa is where it's at. And I will tell you why. It actually sits on my... So we, Pierre and I, we redid our shelves in our perfume room. And we still have our favorites shelf. And I have about seven favorites. Pierre has about eight favorites, nine favorites. And Duquesa is sitting right there. And I actually took her with me to the Maldives. And I was wearing it every single night in the Maldives. And let me tell you guys, it is really the most intoxicating fragrance of all time. I don't even need to put it up to my nose because it's so strong. I can smell it from right down here. I know exactly what it smells like. I've worn it so much since I got it. It actually was the first fragrance from the brand that I fell in love with. I sprayed it, I remember, on the back of my hand and I could not stop smelling the back of my hand for the whole entire day. I was like, oh my God, I need to get a bottle of this fragrance. It is a 10 out of 10 scent. And like I said, probably the best cherry fragrance that I've ever tried. I absolutely adore it. 
with all of my heart. I have worn it, like I said, so many times in the Maldives. I got so many compliments. You would not believe how many people complimented me. I'm talking about guests and also from the staff. When I would come into the restaurant, they would be like, oh my God, whoa, you smell great. And they would be like, what is it? I got a lot of compliments, surprisingly, for how small the island was. When I was wearing Duquesa, Pierre absolutely loves this fragrance on me. And I love the fragrance on me. And actually I had dinner with somebody from Simrise, which is a huge perfume lab. And I was wearing Gritty Duquesa. And he goes, whatever you're wearing, it is a fantastic scent. It smells absolutely incredible and you smell delicious. And I was like, thank you. And it was Duquesa. So anyways, getting on to how it smells, it's a very cherry almond dominant scent. You really get the cherry, the nuttiness, that kind of almondy vibe, but there is a very nice backbone to this scent from a lot of patchouli. There is a bit of a smokiness. I love the backbone of this fragrance and I think it's what gives it something extra and like an extra kick. The patchouli, there is some cloves, there is a bit of a spiciness in there, but underneath, overall, you get this very powerful cherry dominant scent with a lot of almonds, a bit of patchouli, a lot of vanilla, and it just smells freaking fantastic. The longevity and projection, we don't even need to talk about it. It's a 10 out of 10 lasting power. And also projection is enormous. Like I said, guys, I've had so much experience now wearing Duquesa and it is really a overall fantastic purchase. And it's something that I would tell you guys to run out and buy. I would say it's unisex, but for me, cherry almond i would say for me personally i like it more on a woman so that's why i would recommend it more to women but it has this kind of darkness to it there is something mysterious and very sexy about it so definitely try this one it's from me to you this is my recommendation guys from me to you i'm telling you to get on duquesa and thank me later so that is it um i think i'll just quickly round up my favorites it's very difficult because these are my favorites but if i had to tell you guys which ones i really think are worth checking out i would say rialto and duquesa this is for all of you oud for greatness fans rialto and duquesa if you just want something sexy with cherry and almond for a night out for a date night you really need to try duquesa anima again it's more this is definitely a very very unisex one and i would say it's for somebody who wants something quite oriental woody smoky um very i don't want to say middle eastern but it reminds me a lot of dubai and that's very sentimental to me now so i absolutely love anima and then we have our three lighter ones and i love tutu blanc because it gives me that tropical overall happy vacation feeling and then of course the other two i also love and i have a few more over there on my perfume shelves but again like i said to you guys i am not obligated to include every single fragrance that i'm sent from a brand i just want to talk about the ones that i love the most and that's what i did in this video which surprisingly was extremely long for how many fragrances i have in this video so i'm gonna wrap it up thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope that you enjoyed it i will have all of the fragrances linked down below it will link you directly to uh, gritty's website it's not an affiliate link but just so that you know where to purchase them um and yeah i hope that you enjoyed it i really 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 want you guys to go and try this brand especially the ones that i recommended go get a sample of duquesa rialto and nima tutu blanc chantilly and tell me what you think especially duquesa guys just trust me on this one go and get duquesa you need it in your collection thank you guys again and i will see you soon bye bye